What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I um, have Subway today. I don't really use Subway that often. We actually had it when we were in Washington um, because we were getting ready to, oh gosh, so messy. Um, Cause we were, had to stop and get gas before we continued our little road trip to the national park. And so we just got a quick bite at Subway. But that was the first time I had it in so long. And uh, it's, it's, it's good. It's a good fast food uh, sandwich situation. And I'm already feeling very uh, nervous about the mess that it's going to make. Anyways, so, hi. Hope everyone's had a good week. I am kind of nervous that it's going to be a situation like uh, when I was eating my Chick-fil-A where someone comes up to me and they're like, oh, you can't be here because I'm in a park parking lot, but I came over by this building because there's shade and I wanted shade. So that's why I'm here. Okay. Um, so this is, I got turkey on Italian herbs and cheese with cheese, lettuce, cucumber, honey mustard, and mayo. I'm honestly kind of proud of myself um because I normally don't get grown-up sandwiches mm. a good one mm -hmm. that's good The grown up part I'm talking about is just the lettuce. My usual is um, turkey, cheese, mayo, and cucumbers. I just don't usually get lettuce. And sauce, obviously, did I say that? So, here's what I want to discuss. I'll get these chips open. I'm nervous. Oh, I'm gonna make such a mess. And why am I wearing white with a saucy. Sun chips are so underrated. I love sun chips. Okay, another bite of this sandwich, and then I'm gonna get into what I came here to talk about. So, I've been obsessed with this concept for a few weeks like can't get out of my head I've just been thinking a lot about it mm. I usually don't get mayo and honey mustard it's a really good combo I'll tell you what the concept is in a second, but I was talking to my best friend about it and she's like, well, I just finished a book that's all about this. You should read it. And the book is called Maybe in Another Life by um, Taylor Jenkins Reid. So I get this book. I finished it in less than 24 hours. I couldn't put it down. It was so good. I stayed up way past my bedtime to read it. Glob. and um here's the premise of the book there's this girl uh living in new york she's my age actually like exactly and she's living in new york she's sleeping with a married man um she 
is a server like not doesn't really have her life figured out she's just kind of coming going with the flow she decides to move back home to la where she grew up and she's gonna stay with her best friend gabby and her husband mark until she figures some things out and just figures out her game plan and what she's gonna do next so uh right when she gets back gabby throws her a party at their favorite bar and uh invites all of her friends from high school and so they're hanging out at this bar and her high school boyfriend is there his name is ethan and she's talking with him dancing drinking with him like um things are good and then gabby comes up to her and she's like hey it's getting late mark has to be up early tomorrow we're gonna go home are you coming with us and that's the pivotal moment in the book and everything else changes after that so it it follows the parallel lives she could live based on her answer to that question and in one scenario she stays with ethan and hangs out with him and goes home with him and then in the other scenario she's like you're right it's tired i'm tired it's late you got i should go home and she goes home with gabby and mark so after that every chapter alternates between her life if she stayed out with mark or uh, ethan or her life if she'd gone home with gabby and mark It's all sauce. So many sauce globs. So the book just goes back and forth um, between these two different courses that her life could have taken. And they're so different. They're just completely different. And that's what I've been thinking about lately is just like my life is the sum of everything that's happened to me and decisions I've made up to this point. And it's just, it's just insane to believe to, to think about that. Like I wouldn't be living where I am married to who I am working the job that I am. If it weren't for all these decisions, both big and, and small ones, like where, I don't know, just like things that don't seem like a big decision. For example, I think, so the pivotal moment in that, in that book was, does she stay out or does she go home? And I feel like the pivotal moment, well, one of them, I guess, when it comes to like, yeah, I think one pivotal moment in my life, which did not seem pivotal at the time, but it just changed everything, I think, is Memorial Day weekend, 2017. I came to Kansas City with my best friend for the weekend. I was talking to and hanging out with someone back home in Salt Lake at the time. Um, but he was going to the lake with friends and I, we weren't dating. Like it wasn't exclusive. We weren't serious. We were just casually dating for a few months, whatever. He goes to the lake with friends. I come to Kansas city with my best friend and I saw Brent that weekend. And ha I believe that had I not come to Kansas city that weekend, I probably would never talk to Brent again. Like he wasn't in my life at that time. Um, like I, if you don't know our story, we've known each other since high school. We were best friends when you we were 15, but he wasn't in my life at that point. And I believe that had I gone to the lake with other homeboy that weekend, I, I don't think I'd be with Brent right now. So it's just crazy to think about.
Also, I never get Italian herbs and cheese, ever. I always get white. But this is so good. Why don't I get this? I'm getting this from now on. Mm-hmm. Like, give me a whole loaf of just this. It's delicious. Okay. So, all of that raises questions about fate and soulmates and and the idea that everything happens for a reason I'll tell you what I believe, but I would love in the comments if you told me what you believe about these things. Cause it's just, I created polls on my Instagram and people just believe very different things. And a lot of people were messaging me and I'm just having really good conversations about what we believe about these things and why or why not. So I don't believe in fate and I don't believe in soulmates in the traditional construct of soulmates and the fact that, um, there's one person, one person who's like perfectly matched for you and, um, but you guys are meant to be together. I don't believe in that. Um, I also don't believe everything happens for a reason. My best friend is the opposite. She does believe in fate and that everything happens for a reason and that her husband is her soulmate and, who, and he is who she's meant to be with. And that's fine. I think it's totally okay to have differing beliefs and I, I like hearing about them. Uh, there's some people pulling up next to me. Hang on. But they drop stuff off at this building right here, but then they like pulled around and went to the side. So I don't know if they're like calling someone. They're like, "Hey, someone's sitting out." I don't know. But I finished last couple bites of my sandwich. I don't know. Anyways, I believe that. Uh, these are so good. I love a sun chip. Harvest cheddar is my favorite. Like the taste is, and the flavor is good, but also I'm a big texture guy and I really like the texture of these. I believe that like I'm happy with my husband. I love him. Um, like I wouldn't necessarily change my life in any way, but I don't believe that we were meant to be together. I don't believe that he is my soulmate. I believe, uh, honestly, I think the idea, the traditional romanticized idea of soulmates, I think it's kind of cruel <laughs> personally. Like the idea that there's someone out there for you who you're supposed to be with, who is, like I said earlier, perfectly matched for you. You guys are suited to each other. You are each other's halves to a whole. Like, I think that's kind of cruel because what if you don't find your soulmate? You're supposed to just, what, roam the earth and be miserable forever because you didn't find your soulmate and anyone you're with who's not that person, you just feel like you're settling and it's like half of your heart is missing. Like, I just think that's cruel. So while I love Brent and I'm happy with our life, I firmly believe that I could be happy with lots of different people. Some people other that better, some people happier than others. 
Um, I don't think I can make it work with everyone. That is for damn sure. But I think there's lots of different people that I can make it work with and live a perfectly happy and fulfilling life with. Um, so that's my thought on that. As far as everything happening for a reason, I think that is kind of bullshit. Again, these are just my beliefs. Please share yours with me, especially if they're different. Like, please tell me why you think everything happens for a reason. Um, cause I'm very curious because I, I believe that something has happened just because some things happen because we make decisions and other people make decisions that affect us and they just happen because they happen and they're just a product of our decisions. Um, I, I've, I've been, I've had experiences that definitely didn't feel like mere coincidence. Um, so I sometimes do believe in like divine intervention and sometimes things do happen with more meaning behind them, but I don't think everything happens for a reason. I don't think everything happens because it's supposed to. I, sometimes I think things are just accident and happenstance. And sometimes I think they happen just, just because. And I think sometimes we tell ourselves that everything happens for a reason to like make sense of all of the bad things that happen in life. And I know a lot of people take comfort in that sentiment that everything happens a certain way because that's how it's supposed to happen. I went through the hardest thing in my life five years ago five and a half years ago and it was a super dark time I was in a really bad place um the single worst thing I've ever experienced in my life um it's not something I like to talk about and I'm not gonna talk about it right now but um a lot of people also have a cookie because they were staring at me the cookies were and they just looked too like oh. This is my idea of a perfect chocolate chip cookie, like just gooey perfection. Anyways, so this horrible thing happened and people would tell me it was just part of the plan or everything happens for a reason or just things like that. And I think they were telling me those things to try to comfort me. And it would make me so mad. <laughs> and obviously we have our own set of beliefs about these things. And what's comforting to one person isn't to another. And it's hard to know what to say in really hard times like that. And so I appreciated everyone's attempts to comfort me. And I appreciated them saying these things that to them would have been really comforting. But it just made me so mad because this horrible thing happened and I didn't, it hurt me to believe that it happened because it was supposed to. And because there was some greater purpose in it. And I just, I, I don't believe that. I think some things th happen, things happen just because like that didn't need to happen for me to get where I am today. Like, I, I don't believe that. I think my life would be so good if that thing didn't happen. And, um, it's just not comforting to me. <laughs> so I don't like that idea. Anyways. It's just so good.
curious about your thoughts, please share them below. If you've read that book, tell me what you thought. And, and if you've read that book, tell me which scenario you like better. How her life turns out when she stayed out with Ethan or the one where she went home with Gabby and Mark. That book was so good. Anyways. That's my thought. I've just been obsessed with this thought lately. And I've been thinking about like all the different ways my life could have gone and perhaps what I would be doing, where I'd be, who I'd be with, um, what I would look like even. I don't know. I might look like, I might look differently if other things have ha had happened. So anyways, that was delicious. I don't eat Subway enough. I've decided I really like Mr. Good Sense. If I'm going to get fast food sandwich, a fast food sandwich, I really like Mr. Good Sense, but Subway's good. That bread was delicious. That cookie was delicious. I love Sun Chips. And I uh, hope you guys are having a good weekend. Um, I'll talk to you in the comments. Goodbye. Hi, okay, if you stay this long, you get a little bonus, but I, this is the book. I haven't taken it back to the library yet, and there's this part at the end that I forgot about until right now. But I have to read it to you, because I don't necessarily believe in this part, but it is interesting to think about, and it would be cool if we could, like, see how this plays out. So I'm not going to tell you what's happening in the book, obviously, but I'm just going to read this part. That is interesting. Okay, so... It says, I was reading about different theories about the universe. I was really taken with this theory that some very credible physicists believe in called the multiverse theory. And it states that everything that is possible happens. That means that when you flip a quarter, it comes down heads and tails, not heads or tails. Every time you flip a coin and it comes up heads, you are merely in the universe where the coin came up heads. There is another version of you out there created the second the quarter flipped who saw it come up tails. Every second of every day, the world is splitting further and further into an infinite number of parallel universes, where everything that could happen is happening. There are millions, trillions, or quadrillions, I guess, of different versions of ourselves living out the consequences of our choices. What I'm getting at is, okay, that's, you don't even know, know that part. But anyways, so I don't think I believe that much, that there's like a million different uh, scenarios going on where every decision that we could make is played out i don't i don't believe in that but it is a cool thing to think about so anyways hope you guys enjoyed that and i probably won't stop thinking about that for a while because i just it's just so fascinating to me